So we're just here with me, and Sassy's doing the dishes, and I'm doing some prep in the kitchen, and we're just working on placement. Yes! So I've got like a little bag of treats here, and um, I go back and forth just rewarding quite frequently at this point of the game as she gets further into her training. Yes! I will reward more, but right now, She's doing pretty great holding her placement as I walk around the kitchen. Yes! 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 Good! So we went from not being able to hold our down for even just two seconds. We were too excited to now we hold it. Yes. So when I want to release her off, I need to be very clear about what I want. I say, okay. And I drop a treat so that she can go get it. So she knows she's allowed to leave. Because if she was to leave the bed any time um, that I hadn't asked her to, I would just gently take her back to the bed um, and put her back on it. Just by going like this. Please. Please. Yes. So if she ever pops off, that's what we do. We take her back to the bed in the place, but she's not welcome to leave until we invite her to. Yes. It's teaching her where the um, the boundaries are in our kitchen. See, so she popped off there. That's perfect. I just bring her back. I go, please. Mark it. Yes. And then feed a little heavier. Yes. We want her to succeed between feedings. So the goal is we don't want her to get up. We want her to be successful. So if I need to feed heavier, then I need to feed heavier. Yes! And then as she gets better, I'll leave the room. I'll drop other food items and things like that, and we'll complicate it. Yes! Good girl. One more time, I'll tell y'all. Okay! Good girl.